So you've played Skyrim, right? If you haven't, I have no idea how or why you found this video. Also, I'd like to inform you that Todd Howard would like to know your location. Over 200 endings. That is not an exaggeration, oh, no. but it does, uh, deserves some description. Endings. That's Who's laughing now? You know that funny game in which you're the chosen one and you kill dragons? Now what about instead of going out on adventures, you can't leave the starting town? Riverwood. This is what I set out to achieve and to get a good idea of what was possible given a time limit of exactly two hours. And before you say anything, yes, I could have done longer than two hours. However, I wanted this video to come out before the end of the month. Now let's stop wasting time and work out exactly how far can you get in Skyrim without leaving Riverwood. Hey, it's me, Jet, and welcome to Skyrim. Everything I do in this video is achievable at home. There are no mods. Well, more or less, there is only one mod, which simply removes the delay between chopping wood. I'll put that mod in the description if you really want it. However, I wanted this to be as close as vanilla as possible, so I didn't add any more. Now let's get on to the adventure. Hey, you. Finally awake. I open my eyes and see this dumbass in front of me. This adventure started like many other in Skyrim. I was making my way over the Cerulean border when a bunch of political dumbasses were having a random fight over nothing. Seriously, independence of Skyrim, no one cares. And apparently the day I recorded this, I was very easily annoyed. Akatosh, the vines, please help me. You're an NPC, shut up. This man is pleading for his life and I'm just like, shut up. What is wrong with me? I ended up going with the Nords just because their speechcraft, the beginning stat was 20 and their smithing was also 20. That was the only reasoning behind it. Every other race could basically do the exact same thing. And now the fun part, creating an amazing character in which I can fully get immersed in the roleplay. He <laughs> looks like a fucking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one name fitting for this absolute specimen. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. <laughs> then just as God was about to have his way and behead me, Alduin decided to step in and get in his way. <laughs> Try again next time, God. I actually, please don't. I would like to live another 80 years. Thank you. What's up, fuckers? I think I'll go with the Imperials just because Alba, honestly. <laughs> there you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I may have taken this a little too literally and just decided to take everything. He asked this question and I just said yes. And I may have gotten a little too immersed. <laughs> I uh I don't want to talk about it. Look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. Believe it or not, I won't make you sit through my rendition of monkey sounds again. I will, however, inform you that I looted everything. Everything. From every NPC, from every location I saw. If you think for a second that I'm not going to get to the end of this and be like, Man, Jet, there's no way Jet's just going to, you know, get to the end of this dungeon and then have his entire weight uh, completely filled up and not walk the entire- I am walking the entire way. You can eat my ass if you think I'm not walking the entire way. I don't care that the baskets have no value, because they have value to me. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Say what you want. I'm doing things the way that I want. He may have no authority over you, but I do. Go, go, go. Oh my god! Monkey smash! <laughs> Believe it or not, this video is already going to be long as hell, so I'm not going to make you sit through that entire opening sequence. I will tell you that I picked up everything. That is not a lie. And I had to walk all the way to Riverwood. And I mean walk. Power attacks helped, but I mean walk. Ah! <laughs> I don't care about Blink Falls Barrow. I want to go to Riverwood. Many unbearable hours later. We're here, at Riverwood, where the challenge starts, finally. Alvor offered me any supplies that I could possibly want, so I took everything. His wife then said, Get Make away. yourself at home. So, I slept in her bed, I ate her food, and I fucked her husband.
You might have been wondering up until this point, Jet, why did you loot every single body and pick up every single item on the way to Riverwood? And I have a very good reasoning for that. I wanted an extra 800 starting gold. No, it wasn't worth it. Stop judging me. Look, I worked out that day. I had made money that day. This is technically work. Two hours walking in a video game is technically work. All right, I don't have to explain myself. After making sweet love to Alvor, I decided to take everything in the closest vicinity that didn't count as stealing. For some mysterious reason, Alvor was more than happy to show me how to use his forge. He made me craft an iron dagger, sharpen it, craft a hide helmet, and then improve its fit. He then allowed me to keep them. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Don't worry, Alvor. I will use these to remember you by. Is what I would say if I didn't immediately sell them for extra gold. After which, PewDiePie's Minecraft dog specifically gave me a letter for Camilla Valerius. Here. Give Camilla this letter. What he doesn't understand is, though, Fendel gives me archery experience and he doesn't do that, so I'm gonna pick Fendel. Suck my nuts, man. I appreciate your help. So leveling up my archery a whole five points, I may have done something that you didn't notice, and that was level up to level three. I put my first skill point into steel smithing. It doesn't actually matter where I put it at the moment. So if for some reason you don't understand the Fendel archery loop, it's pretty simple. If you have Fendel as a companion, every bit of money that you give him to upgrade your archery goes to his inventory in which you can take it back and then use it to upgrade your archery even more. The caveat to this is pretty simple. You only get five level ups in your archery and then you need to level up. Now, this isn't too bad because all you really have to do is get five points and then go upgrade your speechcraft or your smithing one time and then you can rinse repeat. As a gift from Fendel, I took everything in his house and I sold it. Hey, you made it to the middle point of the video. Why don't you like the video, sub and hit the bell, and maybe leave a comment. You can always undo all of that later, I really wouldn't mind. And now, for the most upbeat, fast-paced, blood-pounding through your ears gameplay. I have to chop firewood for like 30 minutes to get enough gold to continue the loop to basically just get loads of XP. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the challenge because I got to go meal prep about 30 burger patties while the, the challenge was going on in the background. There's no joke here. I'm just really happy that I got to find time to be able to cook for myself. I wish I knew when I became an adult that I would look forward to be having time to cook my own food. Many, many minutes later. I then wasted about 15 minutes looking for Hod because for some reason he decided that he didn't want to show up for work for like five days. Oh, there he is. Why aren't you at work? Honest gold for honest work. My lord. I then forced Fendel into a loop of slavery in which I would then pay him to teach me archery, and then I would take the money from his cold, foodless hands as I looted his house before. I've taken everything from him, and I'm proud of it. I literally sleep in his bed. I could take his wife if I wanted. To explain why I'm sleeping in his bed, however, it's pretty simple. You hit firewood, get gold, you said gold, buy stuff to smith with. You then smith, sell that stuff. And you basically have an infinite loop of smithing and speechcraft EXP. Pretty simple. The only thing really holding you back is the fact that you need to sleep for a week each and every time you want to refresh the merchant's stock. Here we go, 20 iron ingots. It really doesn't matter what you craft, you could craft iron cod pieces if you really wanted to. It doesn't exactly matter. The point is, is that as long as you're getting enough EXP, then you're fine. Back over to my slave to smash out these last two levels in archery, so I can level up. Now I've reached the point where I'm level 6, and my archery skill is what? Where's my archery skill at? 35! Now my bows will do 20% more damage if I want, and I can also do 10% critical hit. That does extra damage. Shocking. At this point, you can no longer get levels from Fendel at level 50. So at level 50, you are hard stuck, and you can only get to, like, archery level 50, because that's the archery level he's at. However, let's say you do this on a regular playthrough, that gives you access to all the way up to getting more twice as much uh, arrows from dead bodies, gets you to do arrow stagger all the largest opponents for 50% of the time, and it lets you do zooming with eagle eye, it lets you do zooming a bow slows down by 25%, so you can basically just make an incredibly good bow build right out of the gate. So our boy here is actually strong enough just to take on probably most of everything already, which is really strong. However, you can go further. 
you can go further. Now we're stuck at this. We can't go any further than level 8. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. We can still match out our speed craft, and we can still match out our... wherever smithing is. Smithing. That doesn't take long. Well, actually, no, this is the part that really takes the longest, if I'm being completely honest. But that doesn't really matter. Because as you go up in levels, you'll be able to buy them with some more things. That's literally as simple as it gets. So how far can you get in Skyrim? Even l literally, if you never leave Riverwood? Level 1000. Level 1000. You could go as far as you physically would want. It has taken, what, like three hours out of my life right now just to go and shop wood, take it to Hod, go back to Alva with the money, buy a bunch of ingots, craft a bunch of stuff, sell it back, buy a bunch of stuff, sell it back, get my speed shop, then upgrade my smithing, yada, 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 and then go out to Fendel and then yada, yada. The thing is, Fendel is capped out for a good reason, because if he went all the way up to 100, then, I mean, yeah, you'd be in a mess. But the reality is, is that you can get infinite gold, you can get tens of thousands of gold just by doing the firewood. So if that's something, how far can you get? You can be rich in Skyrim and buy whatever you want. And then on top of that, you can level your speech and blacksmithing infinitely, and that doesn't stop. That's literally permanent. So you can start the game if you really wanted to, with hundreds of thousands of health. You get hundreds of thousands of stamina, and literally max out smithing right out of the gate. Uh, max out speech as well. This whole loop here of like getting XP and grinding up your stats and yada yada yada, boosting the utility stats, doesn't stop here. You can perpetually do this forever by just waiting, you know, getting firewood, yada yada. All you really need to go to on the map, right here, right over here, there's a good old camp. In that camp, there is a spell that you can get. That spell is Transmute Ore. Now you can buy all the iron ore, turn it into gold. Once you do that, and then you can go to Whiterun, smelt it into gold bars, now craft rings. Craft those rings. Enchant said rings with whatever soul gems you have if you have them. If you don't, just sell them as is. Put jewels in them if you have them. Buy jewels, plant them in, sell them back. You can do this more or less infinitely. It just costs your time. In terms of how far can you go in specifically Riverwood itself, all you really have here is a worse version of the original loop of that I just spoke about. Instead of getting gold, you're basically relying on getting a bunch of gold coins from tacking up firewood and then sleeping a bunch of weeks away, buying more iron and then smelting it. The thing is, as you go, the further along you get into the game and you get into like the higher levels, and let's say you really wanted to do that, right? Let's say you wanted to get into like level 60, 80, just by physically staying in Riverwood. You could, because eventually the traders will start selling things like Ebony Ingots, and then you just got to go into Lucian, and he's going to start selling Daedra Hearts, and then you can use that to make a full set of Daedra Calm. Is that worth it? Is completely up to you. My point of the matter is, is that you can physically go as far as you want by staying right there because there's a loop that you can do to infinitely get AXP by doing the smithing. And you can keep looping it by legendarying it, doing it again, legendarying it, doing it again, looping it, and then just keep going and infinitely do that. And you can do that with speech as well. I don't suggest doing it with speech though because it's going to cost you more time. However, by all means, you can just keep looping that smithing thing. I've done that multiple times. In one playthrough, I did it about, I, I think I looped the legendary like a lot of times. I got to like level 268 and there was no point <laughs> there was no point at that point i didn't die anymore so there's physically no point to doing that now if you don't mind uh i think i think i'm good i'm gonna leave monkey where he belongs chopping firewood thank you very much for watching i think we answered the question pretty effectively if you don't think it uh we did and you think that i should actually do this or if you'd like to see the loop for some reason in skyrim where you can more or less make infinite levels through smithing uh, in general, you're by using the transmute or spell, just leave that in the comments down below, and I'm happy to do it, because believe it or not, I've done it a billion times, and beaten the game on Legendary multiple times by doing so. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done with this, this was fun. I hope this was a video. This video exists just because I wanted to get some people to know I do Bethesda stuff before we go to Starfield for like weeks and weeks and weeks, and only make Starfield content for weeks and weeks and weeks, because that's gonna be fun. Anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your day.